it's winter time in the UK now. Bloody freezing in here. Never mind. I know I keep on saying about this is made out of bits and bobs that I found or got around, which it is. If you pass in a building site and you have a look in the skip, you'll see, especially at the end of the contract, you'll see so much stuff being thrown away. Um, it's rubbish to other people, but uh, I'm lucky enough to work for a company that if it's going to be thrown in a skip, um, they allow me to take it home for projects like this. For instance, this uh, timber here, it doesn't really show it on the camera, but I'll do a close up. And it's been sandblasted. It gives this lovely kind of 3D effect on there. I've had this here for years. It was off an old job again, uh, just about to get in the skip. And, uh, and I've had this in mind, this job in mind, which is the frame in between the kitchen of the house and the new extension I built. And uh, I just haven't had time to do it, but now I have. Now it's winter time, I'm working back in the house again. Now I've built the workshop, so there's no excuses. What I'm gonna do is build it as a frame uh, in here as one frame and then take it apart and then go and put it back in there. To show the grain up to its best, uh, I was thinking of maybe painting it a black bring out the shape, but I don't know. At the moment, just sorting out the nice bits. I think knots look quite nice. I wonder what that looked like burn. Let's have a go. Just hold on a second. Don't know. It's going to take a lot of gas, I know that. Let's see what the boss says. I'm trying to work out what's going to look best. Like that. Just two bits. Or, nah, just three bits. Just three bits. What I'm going to do is biscuit joint it together and see if that holds it stable enough. If not, I'll have to put the baton on the back, I think. Let's give it a go. Another good use for my hairdryer. It's a bit blotchy. Um, what I'll try and do, you got. To, I'm trying to make it in one sweep to try and keep it even, but it's hard to keep it even when it's burning out like that. I think because this has been sandblasted, you got the softer wood in between and then the harder wood. Like, don't know whether it's making it a bit more blotchy. But I'll keep going. See what happens. Now this one, I burnt and then I've brushed it back with a brass brush and uh, it gives it a matte finish rather than this is a bit more stark and sharp, this is a matte finish. And I don't know which one I like now because I like both of them. i better ask the wife I suppose. Right this one, after burning with a blowtorch. Um, I've brushed it back with a brass brush, just a little one, just to get rid of the loose stuff. And then sprayed it with some polyurethane varnish. Um, I don't know whether it's supposed to be matte or not, it looks shiny anyway. And uh, it's come out like that, I quite like this one. So I might have to do this to that one. 
I need to get some more riso. Because these uh, timbers are cut, what I've done, rather than just butt them up, I've cut a groove like that, so it should hide most of the discrepancy between these bits coming in, hopefully. Right, I've got four cans worth here. So I don't know how many coats I'm going to get out of one can. Uh, the only way I'm going to find out is by doing it. Let's find out. Well, this is after three coats of polyurethane varnish and it's come up, I think it's come up really nice. Um, and also the resins inside have uh, got a lovely colour orange and uh, I'm happy with it. That's the most important thing. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is, this is the top part and I'm going to fit this using screws um, and then disguise the screw holes. Uh, and then the two sides, what I'm going to try and do is fit them, but actually pin them um, with pins because there's not so much weight going on them. See the top part, I need to screw or else somebody will be wearing it. Don't mind. Well, this side's a bit more involved because it's I brought it away. The wall goes in and out all over the place. So what I did is I picked the furthest point out, and then that's how I'm bringing my wall up. Uh, and that is after clearing some back as well. So hopefully this would be sturdy enough. It seems pretty good. And what I also might do is put uh, some expanding foam behind it, and that stabilises it all up. But uh, yeah, we're getting there. That's finished the frame off. Um, now I'm going to put an architray around it to cover it all. And it, I'm going to do it out of this. This, I think this is teak. Uh, same again, it's going to get lobbed in the skip but they uh, knew I was going to do something with it so they let me have it and so I'm going to rip that down uh, to the width of that and use that as the architrave and hopefully it won't be too dark we'll see what it looks like we'll do a test piece see if the boss likes it Well, it's finally finished. Um, it's taken a little bit longer because of the burning and I've never done it before. So it's a kind of a learning curve for me. Uh, and I'll use the teak, decided to go with the teak uh, architrave. I mean, same again, this was gonna go in the skip, but I managed to retrieve it. But uh, I, I like the idea. Well, I'll just put a video light down here at the bottom, shining up, and it really brings out this uh, grain, the 3D effect of the grain, even more. So a project in the future will be actually to put lights in the floor shining upwards to make it give the effect even better. Well I hope it's inspired you to do something 
of your own at home. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and if you want to subscribe, you can because uh, I'll be doing more videos. Now I've got a workshop, and that's it. To the next one. Cheers.